I think it's gone really well actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Some good people, some oh, good very lots of good people. Yeah. And they're all so different, weren't they? Yeah. They were. We every woman can absolutely different character that's more even you yeah. said you forgot. Yeah, what, I forgot what, what Izzy was like. Was we didn't know um, the standard that we were going to get, and we were blown away by the, the range and the quality of every single Izzy that we saw. Um, and we could have cast five or six Izzy's, and the quality would not have gone down. It was, you know, we could have gone in many different directions. I think the best way to sum up how how good this the standard was is one person got a standing ovation for an audition they got a standing ovation at an audition and they didn't get the part we were pretty sure we'd already found our Izzy by that point you know that's how that's how good the quality was that's how high the standard was what were being set uh, quite early on someone had come in and had impressed a lot and I was like that's that's Izzy I think um, and then all of Jones turns up and changes all that. But yeah, but for me, um, I don't think you can look any further than, 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 than Orla. But then Orla came in. There's loads I could say about Orla. And just in reading the scene, the script that we'd already heard, what, six, seven times that day, meant something new. It was fresh, it was funny, it was sweet, it was lovely. Everything that I first imagined Izzy to be, all had it, and as, as soon as that happened, it was like, yeah, that's the one. I was so overjoyed by the fact that I wasn't watching Orla, I was watching Izzy, I was watching the character that he had written. She blew me away, and I cannot wait to work with her. Exactly how I pictured her right in front of me. I could have called it there and then. I, I could have stopped the whole day and said, right, we're not going to get better than this. And we didn't. We didn't. My name's Orla, I'm 20 years old. I'm from a wee place in Scotland called Fife. So, interesting, not many people know where, where I'm from, but uh, yeah, that's where, I'm, that's where I live, that's where I grew up. And uh, I'm currently living in Shrewsbury because I'm doing their musical theatre course there. Her voice is just sweet, she suits the part, looks the part, automatic just fits in. and. The connection working with her, I can see it already, we're going to make a great team. Come on, you must remember them days, right? Where it was all romantic and tender and just loved the sound of your voice. No. Oh. So I am very, very excited to get to work with Orla. As a writer, you, you hope that actors, actresses are going to interpret your stuff as you want it to be set and at an audition level before you rehearse and things and direct people you can't expect it to be too perfect um, but there was a particular sequence um, Izzy is one of these characters who is fortunate enough to have like little rants where she goes off on a, on, on, off on a tangent and st starts to talk quite quickly it's quite humorous in her own little way, and then she has these rants. And we'd seen people do this rant during the day, and a few people did it really well. And it was like, oh, that sounds, that sounds good. That's entertaining. You know, that's close to, to how I imagined it. And with some rehearsal time, I could definitely see that being the one. Orla turns up and does it, and it's like she had rehearsed, it's like she had been doing it for ages, it's like she'd been told how to say it. She knew where to put the emphasis, she knew where to pause, she knew where to put more more on it, um, she knew where to put the expression, she knew where to roll her eyes. Oh my god, did I not tell you? Yeah, I also am that Jackie. You know Doris is Jackie? Oh, yeah, our Doris. Her granddaughter it is. It was, it was the acting equivalent of a guitar solo and she nailed it. Well, she works at that, you know, the salon, the really cheap looking place next to the dodgy bait place. My mate Sharon, well her boyfriend, I say boyfriend, they're divorced now. But she, he bought her this ring from that place, only turned her finger green for prom, didn't it? Cost him a ten or two. Dirty place. As soon as that happened, it just clicked and I was like, there she is. That's our girl. That's Izzy Orchard, there and then. 
and yeah, and from that point onwards, there was no looking back. She stole the show. It's going to be great. I can't wait. Fab. Okay. Right then. So let's um, call the lucky lady, shall we? We've got the Alley's auditions coming up on the 23rd of October. The standard has been set now, and it's a very high standard. Oh, there's nothing wrong. Well, what, with your inventory? Oh, no, absolutely nothing whatsoever. Why would there be anything wrong with your inventory? In fact, yeah, it's completely dry. Dry? <laughs> what? Yeah, 100%. Completely dry. Um, I mean, why wouldn't it be? Dry as a bone. In fact, just give me a few minutes and I'll have it right with you. What do you mean? It's completely dry. If, why wouldn't it be dry? Um, All of you set the bar incredibly high. No pressure on those lads out there, but whoever wants to act alongside you, they've got the work cut out for them. I'll be working alongside Orla and our future Alid. Not an answer now. <laughs> so let's see where, where that takes us on, on the 23rd and, um, and let's do it all again. Hello? Hi, is that Orla? Oh, lovely. It's Gareth from Rocking Horse. This pilot is going to work. I can't doubt it at all. This new Karen project, our care home drama, uh, has started with the highest of standards, and I can't wait to see where we can take that next. Would you like to be our Izzy? I'd be honoured. Your Izzy, darling. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Well done. It's our pleasure. You were you were fantastic. You know we couldn't we couldn't fault you. So um, so yeah, the part's yours if you want it. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, yeah, perfect. No, thank you very much. I can't wait to see her bring the character of Izzy to life. Welcome to the team, Orla. Let's go make a pilot. Good morning. Thank you for calling Henry House Care Home. Izzy speaking. How can I help? Oh my god, Jack, you can't call me on this number, silly. Wow. <laughs>